Mm -hmm. So after the butterfly flew out of Goff's head, what happened to it? I shot it. Would have been nice to have captured it. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna walk again. Motherfucker cut half my pinky toe off. It's the most important toe there is. Bro, if your pinky toe's fucked up, you're fucked. Nigga, haven't you seen Harlem Nights? You'll be able to walk without your pinky toe. You'll fall over all the time and look stupid, and everyone will laugh at you. Who's gonna laugh at you for falling over because you don't have a toe? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. Oh shit. I was wondering who's in there. What are we gonna do about him? Hey, no! No! no. Damn! No. He was ready to just kill him. Do you really wanna do <laughs> oh, this is my favorite part. <laughs> I do like this theme song. It's so awkward, but I, I like watching it. The chode less traveled. Do you know what chode is? Yes. Chode? You okay to drive now? Yeah. So he's he part of the team? That's what I was about to say. Hell? Somebody had an interesting theory that Mern might be a butterfly because of how he survived that fucking blast. He was right in front of it, too. I'm mad as fuck you, you said that. You sure your head is in this? What? You choked last night. You I'm not fucking killing kids just because you say so. You're sure that's all it is? Yeah, I don't think it is. Yeah. yeah. Good, because right now the world needs a son of a bitch and you're the only one I got. You got Vigilante. Well, I guess him now, too. Ah, you know oh, he wow. in vain. You're Go to the yeah, fucking yeah. doctors. Hey, these butterflies are like alien bugs that crawl up in the human brains and control people. Get some rest, come back tonight. We'll explain the whole thing. No information, like, come on, man. Yeah, he's Everybody been anything? skimping on the details for a minute. Listen, again, I'm sorry about last night. I've never killed anyone before. The truth is, you want to do this job, you can't balk, ever. You have to make the hard choice when necessary. Yeah, unfortunately. Facts. A lot of soul searching going on in this show right now. Just gonna keep him here? What else are we supposed to do with him? I would've shot this little nigga. God, there's so many secrets. Yeah, that's what Black Ops is, dude. And just gotta show her and Mern that I got what it takes, I guess. Well, I got what it takes. Stomped his ass. Economos, motherfucker. Don't fuck with John Economist, motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga, bro. He gonna wake up and whoop your ass. Listen, uh, I've been meaning to thank you for allowing me to be tortured. What the fuck? I don't know if he's serious. You seem to be walking okay. Well, I'll probably never walk as good again. Why is he driving, yo? I'm not driving after that. Why does your father have an upside down American flag on his lawn? I don't know, dude. It's a deep state thing. Where your dad is a racist whack job. Oh, yeah? Your dad left your mom for another dude. Yeah, and they're deeply in love. I doubt it. You know, I think he's just pretending to be gay to get away from you. Jesus Christ. You tell me some shit like that. You get the fuck out the car. All right, let's see how this goes. He's gonna realize his dad's not there. Oh, he's gonna realize he got arrested. He didn't even do anything. <laughs> hey, it's you. This is KWU. <laughs> Zoo officials say they have no idea how the gorilla was stolen. There's a missing gorilla. Are we leading to the gorilla garage? That shit is trippy, yo. How is this in his house? What helmet are we going with today? Because he said he had one specific for this. Oh, which one did he pick? Let's take all of them. No, not the scabies one. He's just gonna take all them shits? Don't get the scabies one. Read the signs. Get Took the scabies one. What the fuck is that? That's his dad. Yeah. What do the dudes in the jail call him though? The Extra white dragon. Part. White dragon. The white yeah. dragon. How is it so big in this place? It's a quantum unfolding storage area. Oh, okay, that explains it. I guess your dad's pretty brainy for a racist to make a place <laughs> like this. And if your dad's a racist and you work with him, I don't work with him. <laughs> if it walks like a duck, it's either a duck or a duck wearing human costume. <laughs> a duck in a human costume? The sizes are completely incompatible. I don't know, we have butterflies in human costumes. They're actually having this stupid fucking conversation. I love the tangents. Don't get the scabies one. You gonna put on and start itching. Batman has a coterie of super villains. Joker, Riddler, Mad Hatter. So what? Shout out to the Joker. Do you have a coterie of super villains? No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's giving him shit. <laughs> so maybe you're not a superhero after all. Ooh. You wanna know why I don't have a coterie of supervillains? Why? Coterie of supervillains is six feet fucking under. There you see, Batman doesn't kill people. Because he's a pussy. <laughs> he's a dark creature of the night. <laughs> he's a jackass. I know you didn't just call Batman a pussy. Who wrestles with murderers dressed like clowns and throws them in prison so they can break out of prison and then murder more people. 
<laughs> yes! You got a point. <laughs> Riddle me this. How many people you think Batman's indirectly murdered by being too much of a candy ass not to kill these fools who clearly need to be smoked once and for all, you wrinkly, sharp, hay looking dimension infested fuck! Jesus. <laughs> Just trying to make conversation. With an attitude like that, you're definitely a supervillain. You're gonna end up in jail with your father soon enough. Oh, now he just found out. Yeah, see, he told him. What are you talking about? He don't even know. What the fuck, Mern? The only way to get the cops off our tail is to frame my dad for what I did? If you want to come back, we can talk about this like adults. Fuck you, man! You people only fucking care about yourselves anyway. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I wasn't more compassionate about you being tortured and everything. Get out of here. Are you kidding me? Come on, that's, that's stupid. Dude. See, I, I you wanted the apology. I need you to talk him out of seeing his father. That could screw us in a number of ways. Please don't go to the jail. I'm gonna rile everybody up. Your lack of a resume made me hesitant to bring you onto this team. Amanda Waller insisted you were ready. Prove her right. They're not suspicious of that. Amanda Waller just planted her on the fucking team. My God, is he gonna bust out? Nah, he can't be that strong. <laughs> Oh, he's about to Please. fuck them up in there, dude. We, fuck we, off, Adebayo. We messed up, we know it, but that doesn't mean you should destroy what we're doing because of it. Was it Mern? No. Economos? Motherfucker, how did he do it? He changed your car registration for your father's name and changed out your fingerprints for his. I have to go talk to him. Look, we all know what he's done to you. Yeah. You don't know shit! He's a white supremacist who used to dress up as a supervillain called the White Dragon. He's not, he's not as bad as he seems! He thinks people with my color skin are second-class citizens. That's deep. You're speaking facts, though. People change! And he's actually a good guy inside. He's not changing! He's still family. Come on, peacemaker. Growth. Well, he has to do what he has to do, I guess. I take it you're vigilante. <laughs> he doesn't have his shit on. No. You sound like him. No, I don't. <laughs> this fucking guy. Why are you limping? Snowboarding accident, totally unrelated in any way to vigilante. Snowboarding know. accident. Dude, vigilante is hilarious. It's like DC Deadpool. Man, I ain't got no. You got a visitor. This guy's just living it up in jail, man. This man's having a blast. They think this is gonna stick? I don't know. All I gotta do is go to these assholes and say, hey, check the fingerprints, they don't match. I know. I saw you come out of your mother's cooch. I should have slit your throat then. What the fuck? Oh shit, god damn. Come on, dad. I never had any feelings for you, not like your brother. Him, I fucking loved. <gasps> what the fuck? So his brother's dead? He was just a blob of flesh I felt nothing for. Oh my, oh my gosh. God. This guy's a fucking asshole. You know, dad, maybe I'm a grower, not a shower. What? I don't mean like a dick. I mean like a, a, a person. You're comparing yourself to a chode. Not in a bad way. I'm no rat, but the first chance I get, I'm spilling everything. That's ratting. Technically, that exactly makes you a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Factually. Get the fuck out of my sight. God damn. Bro, fuck your dad, Peacemaker. Just leave his ass there. There is nothing to love inside of that man. I don't think Chris is ever going to be happy as long as his father's around. I just wish there was some way he would just go away. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> she wants Vigilante to go she in there and kill this nigga. Collect. I think he might try. I gotta go do something. Here's the thing though, if he blams him, then Peacemaker's in the clear. That's smart though. My dad hates my guts. I'm a chode, not the good kind. And I think you're the, the good kind of chode. Chode less traveled. That's the title of this episode. This is so much more serious than I thought it was gonna be. That's a lot. What the hell is he doing? Oh my God, this nigga's about to commit a crime. Is he gonna throw it through a window? Literally just dragging it to break this window. Oh, he's bugging! Oh! What the fuck are you doing? He's doing that so he can get locked up! He's gonna try to take his dad out from inside. Oh my! Yeah. Gonna beat the bricks off that motherfucker, yo. Yeah, you're fucked. We are so incredibly fucked. You are like, fucked. Who the fuck do you think? Judo man. Oh shit. Look behind oh. you. Yeah! Oh. Damn! Did he kick you? Hard as fuck. Through the table. <laughs> I think Cobra Kai just got out. Cobra Kai, yeah. He's Cobra Kai never dies. Hey, I want to see that detective song. I got some information about the case. About to snitch immediately? This nigga. Come on, T-1000. That shit's picking up. Where'd he go? Jesus. Yo, he whooped his ass. <laughs> oh fuck? That was an epic ass hero drop. It was a proper three-point landing this time. Rematch, motherfucker. Let's go. One on one. Yeah! What the fuck? Holy God. Oh, shit! Lift him up! Yeah! Oh! He's really just flinging that little yeah. nigga. 
Damn! Oh, he's actually whooping his ass this time. This feels like a WWE fight. Yeah, it really, really does. does. You have no idea, butterflies. They're not what you think they are. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! Fucking Murn? Who was that? Who shot him? Harcourt. What? Oh, she what? shot him. Oh shit, her first kill. Never shot anyone my ass. I was gonna win that fight. Why'd you do? Because he was about to talk. As soon as he went to go spill the truth. He was literally about to explain. Yeah, that fucking aim was too on point for that. Never killed a man before. Oh, you still haven't. I was just oh, about to say, shit. I don't think he's still dead. Yeah. He's martial artist. They are hardcore. Their heart stops beating. They just concentrate and move a kidney up into its place. <laughs> yeah? What the fuck is he talking about? This never happened ever. Yeah, it is. One or two times it is. No, that does not happen at all. You fucking jackass. Where does he get this shit? Hey, what do you think he's about to say? The butterflies are not what you think. They're... Yeah, that's interesting. I want to know what he was going to say. Bruh, she lying. I think she knows a lot more than she's saying. I mean, her mom is Amanda Waller, so come on. Mom. This motherfucker is a lunatic. We will kill all of y'all. Y'all better stop. This nigga look like Jeffrey Dahmer straight up. I would get fucked up in prison, dude. He kept he it. He caught it. Okay, so he keeping secrets too. You motherfucker, bro. Uh, I guess he's not so dumb. Either he's gonna kill his dad or his dad's gonna kill him. Oh, no, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Oh, oh thank God. None of this sits right with me. First, I manipulated vigilante into going into prison and killing Peacemaker's father, and now this. Back up, what? Yeah, was... Every time I turn around, one of you's doing something fucked up! <laughs> exactly! I, I thought Walla gave me soldiers. Is that it's a fucking apple dumpling gang? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's snapping. But they always triumph in the end. Fuck you, John! Jesus. <laughs> He could kill Vigilante, and without Vigilante, we're taking on the butterflies one man down. Yo, man, like he would've quit. Can you get Vigilante out of the system before he screws us worse than we already screwed? It's kind of right. You need all the help you can get. You need the justice league. White male, uh, five. Yes, desktop wallpaper. <laughs> this nigga took a selfie on a motorcycle. Found him. Adrian Chase, the vigilante. Wasn't he our bus boy at Fennel Fields? Yes, yep. he was. How did you remember that? I would have forgot. Yeah. Keep your eye on your goddamn opponent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let's pick a topic, and then everyone goes around in a circle and says their feelings on that topic. Let's each say something that we're grateful for. Black people have contributed to American culture. Oh, no. Oh, he's trying to piss them off. I know. <laughs> I'm grateful that black people gave us rock and roll music. Leonard Skinner, ZZ Top, 38 Special. All those guys owe everything to black American folk and blues music. And then white redneck music would just sound like, well, what it sounded like before black people. Wet, sloppy sounds of fucking your sister. That's my turn. <laughs> Bro. Okay, so that's my turn. Which one of you dumb sister fucking tiki torch carrying sloths from the Goonies looking pieces of shit wants to go next? Who the fuck are you? You're first? Cool. Okay, wait, no, let me guess. Your favorite contribution to black American culture. Bro, he's taking the glasses mm -hmm. off. Was all the black guys who fucked your mom in the ass while you watched from the closet jerking off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Who are you? I'm just the guy who's gonna fuck you so hard your asshole's gonna be dragging behind you like a tail. Jesus Christ. We both know there's cameras all over this place, and now these morons look like the aggressors. Yeah, see, he plays by the rules. On the ground! Now! Both of you! The Aryan started it! The Aryan started it! Yeah. This dude did nothing! <laughs> <laughs> we came in clutch! You're a bad dad. I need to talk to Detective Song now! Oh. Oh. He shouldn't have said you're a bad dad, now he knows why he's there. Oh, look at him not in costume! That's the drip! <laughs> finally not wearing the stupid ass suit! What's it say in my file about what my dad did when I was a kid? Oh, maybe it's stuff he doesn't even remember? Yeah. Fine, it says that he trained you to kill from when you were very young. It says that your brother died under mysterious circumstances and that you were involved in that. Oh, he killed his brother. And he's somehow responsible for that? He had a fucked up childhood. I really love Amelia Harcourt in this show. I really want her character to change by the end of this. Like, her character is just so fucking drab. 
Yeah! yeah. What, what the, the heck? fuck? He's gonna get this fucking butterfly high. Oh, he's lit right now. I don't want to see this nigga drunk dance, please. Oh, the blinds, bro. Muscles. Free to go. I guess he got friends in high places. I wonder how long his sentence was. They trying to keep him alive, right? To like find out what he knows. Lethal Weapon 4. Bro, what the fuck? I'm here to take you home. And he was really gonna go to prison for Peacemaker like that. That's a real friend. I think it might have made things worse. Everyone's going through some shit. Every character in the show is so fucked up. Peacemaker's here rocking out, high and drunk with his butterfly. This is what happened when he was a kid. So this is how you trained him to kill. That's what he had him doing? What the fuck? That's pretty fucked up. That mole is the real crime. Flag! Oh! Oh, oh, man. Peacemaker. What a joke. Love how they keep using this. They're making that death far more impactful now. Aw, oh, you get the thing rolled over to him? This part actually really fucked him up. Or is that his brother? Oh, maybe that's why he likes this music so much. Like this era of music, you know? He had a seizure while he was fighting. So his brother died really young. Okay, that's pretty fucking sad. I have enough drinks, I'm gonna cry, dude. It's messed up. Bottling company. Why did she find out? I found your base. I think I found something. Great. I'll be right over. Don't tell me this nigga's a butterfly. I swear he a butterfly, yo. He's, he's super weird. Yeah, he's a whole butterfly. Oh! oh! What the fuck? Oh shit. Uh, I knew it. Wow. Well, that changes a lot. Not Dang. surprised. I'm a little surprised. If it walks like a duck, it's either a duck or a duck wearing some type of human costume. That's the stupidest idea you've ever fucking had. And it's offensive to me, because I have a soul, not a duck. I feel like John Cena just ad-libs that yeah, shit. Yeah, I think that was like some extra ad-lib like, shit. Dude, yo, this episode was crazy, man. And it got just like crazy dark out of nowhere. This was the best like, episode. Well, yeah, now Mern is a butterfly. When did he become a butterfly? Did he get infected on his way home? Why is he trying to kill all the butterflies then? Unless he's trying to take over the world. What is it with episode four of these shows? <laughs> Makes sense about him not showing emotion and all that other shit. Cause the nigga's a butterfly.